Welcome back trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at some more PvP battles in the Ultra League right now going up against my friend Professor Streeby first and he's going to be entering with Mewtwo and I'm starting off with Donphin. Fairly good choice with counter play rough and earthquake. I have a variety of different moves to cover different Pokemon here. So I'm going to switch in seeing that the counter is not going to be doing much and he has flamethrower <laughs> and down goes my Caesar one shot and uh, at this point I'm thinking hmm. Well, the battle's not completely lost. Better shield this up because I want my Star Raptor to survive a good amount of time. Now, I don't necessarily pick Star Raptor all too often. I usually pick Star Raptor when I'm feeling a little bit risky. It does have a great move pool, Heat Wave, and Close Combat for the charge moves on mine personally, and then Wing Attack for the quick move. So that Wing Attack was doing pretty good amount of damage to that Mewtwo, and now I'm in a pretty good situation with that counter going up against a Blissey. So you don't see these too often. Well, maybe you do, but personally me, this is like my third or second time battling a Blissey, and they're not really too troublesome as long as you have something that's super effective. In this case, I have that nice close combat on Star Raptor doing a lot of damage. So we're gonna go ahead and have him use his last shield here because he does wanna keep that Blissey in the battle. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna be able to get off another close combat and let's just see how much damage this is gonna do or if we're gonna KO it, and there it goes down, it goes the Blissey. So I'm kind of making up for that lost Caesar one shot in the beginning. And my Star Raptor is about to get defeated. I am in a good position, but unfortunately not able to get off that charge move. So in goes Donphin, and if you're thinking, why that? Because it's my last Pokemon. <laughs> so we're gonna do Earthquake and uh, take out that Venusaur. And now the battle is turning towards my favor. Wow, I was quite surprised. So that Mewtwo apparently only has Flamethrower, so I'm looking kind of nice. That did a lot of damage. So we're going to go ahead and finish off that Mewtwo with the counter, and that is game one. Good game. I'm going to go on to the next one here, staying in the Ultra League. So I also like to pick my Kingler when I'm feeling also a bit gambly. It throws people off. It's not horrible by any means. It has Mud Shot, which is a great energy gain for those charge moves. X Scissor and then Water Pulse. Water Pulse, you're going to be getting Stab and you have a good amount of uh, coverage. And then you have that X Scissor as well to go against those Grass types. And in this case, X Scissor is going to be doing a lot of damage to Mewtwo because it's going to be super effective. Now, in comes a Latios and I have another super effective move, X Scissor. We're just going to see how much damage we can do over half health beautiful have it charged up as well again because mudshot is just that good for energy gain he does block it because he does want to keep that latios in the battle but hey my ex sister is ready yet again do you see kingler's pattern here do you see the potential for it so yeah maybe giovanni was on to something when he was using this all right in comes this gengar my mudshot's going to be super effective i was waiting for the water pulse that's why i did not get off that x scissor i wanted to get a stab in there seeing this is going to be neutral damage no more shields and then that gengar goes down all right so the kingler is going strong <laughs> and uh, i'm going to go ahead and shield up because i do want to get that x scissor off here and uh, let's see if we can do it and we do i haven't switched yet do you see the kingler sweep all right so there it goes I was trying to do it with just one Pokemon, but it was not able to last the whole duration, but just about. So, may want to think about Kingler, folks. It is a good Pokemon to use, as a matter of fact. All right, into the next battle here. This is going to be the last one for Professor Streevy. And now, now, and I was feeling very... Ah, I won two battles. I can do whatever I want. I could throw an Alakazam in the battle. Not good idea. And same with Salamence. Oh, I could throw that in there. And Salamence is a good Pokemon. I mean, it can be for certain situations, but for the most part, it does just have one charge move, so it's going to take forever. You're very vulnerable. You have a few weaknesses that are just going to rip right through you, so it's not within your best interest to use Salamence quite yet until it receives this Community Day move. Probably going to be Outrage. Uh, once it does have that, it's going to be able to get off the charge moves a lot quicker. So he does have Hariyama, which is a great PvP option. If they don't have a counter to that, they're pretty much going to get walled. Even if you're doing not very effective damage, you're just going to sit there and chip away their shields and then eventually their health because Hariyama is just tanky. Now I'm going to hit it with Dazzling Gleam. He does block. That would have been a one-hit KO. Alakazam can't take this Dynamic Punch, but I do not have more shields, so it's unfortunate for it. And down it goes. Now, do you see how it was not so great? Now, Salamence coming in, doing a pretty good amount of damage with that Fire Fang, but it's just not going to be good enough and taking quite a bit of damage, even though it's flying type from that Hariyama. Because, uh, man, it's still outputting quite a bit of uh, 
damage with that dynamic punch. Like, man, I'm flying type over here, and you're still taking off half health. Okay. So I'm basically done for here. And uh, yeah, don't underestimate your opponents, basically. And this here is another reason why you should always go into PvP battles with at least two charge bar moves. Because you're going to be able to get them off quicker, rip into your opponent's shields, and then health eventually, instead of sitting there vulnerable using your quick move. Quick moves are great, and you should always think about continuously using those as well. But when you're in a situation where you kind of need to get off charge moves, like that Salamance, for instance, it's not going to be good. Anyways, we're starting off the next battle with Edgar Martinez. He's entering with Venusaur. I'm going in there with Machamp. I'm just going to hit it up with Dynamic Punch. Try to do as much damage as I can. I know it's Poison type, but I was still putting on a good amount with uh, fighting moves to that Poison. I was quite surprised. I didn't want to switch because I didn't want to get locked in there. So he's bringing in the Typhlosion. I have the Crobat ready to go with that Sludge Bomb. We're going to go ahead and uh, deal that damage. He's going to block. He is down to one shield. I still have two left. And uh, the situation in the beginning wasn't looking the best. But now it's not looking horrible either. Because I didn't make the switch in the beginning. You have to always think about that. If you're not looking great at the matchup right at the start... Don't feel pressured into switching. Unless your Pokemon is just getting destroyed by a super effective move, then you might be forced to. Otherwise, keep going because if you switch, they're going to counter you and then you're going to be in a whole mess for the rest of the battle if they took out something that you really needed. So anyways, we're going on here. He has his Politoed out. The Crobat is going strong. Love that thing so much. And down it goes. And do I use all these Pokemon all the time for PvP? Yeah, sometimes, but I switch it up. So... If you try to come into a battle with me with fire type Pokemon, I just might have all counters for that. Anyways, I do have the Kingdra here. We're taking reduced damage from that bubble and surf. So it's going to be game there. Good game for your first round and Sinnoh Stone. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and go into round two. Now I'm doing the Kingler thing again, feeling risky. And it was a bad idea already. So we have the Jolteon out there, which is, wow, really good to use with Thundershock and Discharge. Absolutely destructive. It can just go through that shield and then that health. It does a lot of damage, really. So I'm going to bring in my Rhyperior. And at this point, I was thinking, hmm, yep, it's it's good. Good GG, man. <laughs> because, yeah, see what I was talking about? The switch, he just countered me right off the bat. And there goes one of my Pokemon. I'm not going to be dealing any damage really whatsoever to that Venusaur. So I'm going to bring in my Venusaur here to salvage whatever I can, doing uh, not very effective damage, but then neutral with that Sludge Bomb. Going to go ahead and shield up, and then we're going to use our Sludge Bomb. This is a very good matchup when you're going up against a Magnanium. Unfortunately, the footage from the last tournament that I had, like I said, was corrupt. I would have been able to show you the magnificent battle I had going up against somebody's beautiful Magnanium with the Community Day move, and my Venusaur full health, and we were able to... Uh, shield up and then sludge bomb it for super effective damage when it came down to it So we do have the Mel metal out here and this time we're not playing no games Let's see if we can take that thing out So I'm just going to continue to hit it with frenzy plant because poison type is not going to be very effective to that steel Neither is the frenzy plant But at least I'm going to get stab and do a little bit more damage because it's a little bit stronger, right? And we're able to just get one more Thank goodness, because that Vine Whip is just amazing EPS energy gain for those charge moves. Especially Frenzy Plant does not take much to get up. That's why Venusaur is just kind of a little OP. You can counter it. I mean, the Crobat will just wall it, like, seriously hard. So the Kingler does have Mud Shot, super effective. He does switch up right away. And out goes the Discharge, and down goes the Kingdra. And that is the first loss that I have there. Going up against Edgar, very good. Now we're going to finish it up with the last battle here, folks. Let's see what we have going on. And we're starting it off with the Donphin, and he's going in with the Melmetal. So it's looking great for me already, because I already know he has Rock Slide, and that's not going to be doing much damage. He does bring in the Swampert. He did make a switch, so I personally can make a switch as well, because I'm not going to get too walled by the counter. Now here is the dilemma, though. When you do that, they are going to be able to bring in something after I defeat that Swampert or whatever Pokemon they had out there, and they're going to be able to counter you. You're still going to be locked in. As you can see, I still have about 30 seconds until I can switch. You have about a minute cooldown for every switch, okay? So he's going to bring in his Venusaur. I'm going to get ahead and do that Sludge Bomb because that is going to be your best bet like we went over before going up against another Venusaur. And uh, just going to get that up. Oh, he was able to first. I'm going to take the hit, do I? Yes, I do. Because I already know it would survive and I need to save that shield for a more 
dire situation and not this one here. So he's going to go ahead and use his last shield and then retreat into Melmetal. And I'm going to go ahead and use that Frenzy Plant because it's going to be a better move to use up against it over the Sludge Bomb, of course. And we're just going to do as much damage as we can here. I don't think I'm going to use that shield because my uh, Donfin is lying in wait. The Kingdra isn't going to do anything for me up against that. Not very effective. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and take that Rock Slide. Not that much damage. There you go. We have Earthquake. He has no more shields, so we are in the clear. And uh, I'm going to take the Rock Slide yet again. See, I didn't get off that charge move because, well, there was no need. I had counter. I was doing super effective damage. And now, now we'll go ahead and use it into that Venusaur, and it's done. All right, trainers. Thank you for watching, and I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.